I share my god prince and kings I share when I book all of our follow welcome back to my channel I'm gonna get a good pair if you are new to my channel please call me by you know <laughs> okay so let me just hop on into the video so as you can see by the title today I'm gonna be talking about the angel numbers or uh, the number of if I have to put it as speedy because a lot of people have been telling me or go over like a speedy and there are those on but they're like a suit car that's who was just happy English speedy so I'm just gonna mix them up like I'm gonna want to look as well okay so angel numbers are repeating numbers so if I have to give an example of the angel numbers kid 111 2 3 3 3 12 12 11 11 24 24 you know any number you let's say already all the time when you're holding your phone more or level than a good one up and I got two 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 or the new Facebook or like a something up and I got two 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 or we are more maybe to sleep or go back to two two or level a TV two 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 or that number played two 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 those are angel numbers first of all you need to realize or our ancestors have different types of way of communicating with us there are those by luring they whisper in our ears the god voices there are those by luring they speak through us are within us like it through our intuition there are those by luring they communicate with us through our dreams and then there are also signs everywhere you go there are always signs that your ancestors are guiding you giving you um communication or telling you what you are stepping into another level or you are moving or shifting into a different vibration so you need to understand the worry um our our ancestors most of the time bubble like the science you know they might just show you when you wake up in the morning you see two beds in front of your room or in front of the door um or one of the butterfly when you are outside and you just see a butterfly like flu like flying across your face the uh, the lady the ladybug um which represents luck so there are many ways they're communicating with us because we are nature and we are connected to everything around us. So they can use those things to also communicate with us. You need to become aware of every time when you see repeating numbers, it represents alignment. It means all of you are aligning. It's time for you to align. It's time for you to pay attention to, to certain things around you because your ancestors are also trying to communicate with you. People while you're about to hey, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you don't necessarily have to hear them if they want to talk to you about go vegetable now they will do that they will do that you can't tell them what to do but now they're going to be like i'm going to go and i'm going to go hey one two three you're going to go and i'm going to you you had the opportunity to live your life or so they are able to do those things as long as you pay attention and know that everything around you there's always a sign there's always vibrations going on around when right? because that is who you are and that is what you're connected to so you need to understand the worry um our ancestors sometimes don't use words but then when they are trying to train you you need to understand what especially when you are in um in the spiritual realm i get as much as yeah that wrong we do things live on and whatever that's fine but then you also need to train yourself in this physical realm or when you see one two three it represents this when you see this it represents this just like the angel numbers when you see a repeating number you have to go to google and then we search it and then they will pop up different types of angel numbers with different types of messages and then you're just gonna have to pick one that resonates with you you might find what you're going through a lot more or you are you, you are going through certain things and then there's this number that's always popping up two 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 do your research at that number because that number is not only popping up it's not only popping up more up in your face for no reason there's a message behind that i am yeah this number that you keep seeing there's a message your ancestors are trying to give to you or don't lose hope don't give up don't do this don't do that it's very important or every time when you see an angel number write it down write the number down and then do your research people by worry um the spiritual realm it's all about the ghost ancestors well the spiritual realm is way more developed than this physical realm those people are able to manipulate energy. They any remember where we come from the spiritual realm. Everything that you see in this physical realm comes from the spiritual realm. It was manifested from the spiritual realm, and then from there it 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 got created into this physical realm. That is why a lot of when you look at what they have a lot of knowledge because but your knowledge abona and then they create that knowledge that they got from their ancestors and creativity by placing it into this physical realm and then talk on because they listen they hear they learn they are aware of oh 
So I have to begin first in the spiritual realm before I can move in the physical realm. So the angel numbers, this is where they come in. You might find where your ancestors have been trying to communicate with you a lot, but you are you are not aware. So they keep showing this number two 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 two. But then, why you born? You're just not aware or whatever that this no this number because hey it's just a coincidence nothing happens because it's a coincidence everything happens because it has to happen everything comes in your path because it has to be there it's one two three it has to be there it has already happened and then now it's manifesting in this physical realm so it's important for you to write down those numbers every time when you see them and then go through them because there's a message behind them just like when you wake up or when you're just by yourself and you're going through a lot of things and then a song pops up in your mind those are also your ancestors communicating with you because if you listen to that song there's a message behind that song so our ancestors communicate with us in a lot of ways in a lot of ways even through our friends family members lovers they communicate with us in many ways because they are able to manipulate energy in the spiritual realm to work on their behalf in this physical realm they are able to manipulate energy and manipulate someone to come to you our family and then from there that's how powerful the spiritual realm is that's how powerful our our ancestors are that's how powerful we are the same thing that your ancestors can do and manipulate energy to work for them, it's the same thing that you can also do in this physical realm, manipulate energy to work on your behalf. But then only if you are resonating with love, positivity and all those things, then everything will gravitate towards you in a positive way. Galarad. So pay attention to the angel numbers because they are important. Angel numbers, you know, um, a lot of people are struggling or they feel like they are lost and one, two, three. So the moment they realize or your and our ancestors can communicate, can, can communicate, learn through angel numbers, the repeating numbers, what is and then you read that message and it gives you hope. Then you know or you're not alone. You were never alone. You know, so it's very important for you to pay attention to these numbers that keep on popping up. But it is synchronicity, they call them that. But just to make it simple for you guys, get the angel numbers, look them up, pay attention. The signs are always there. If everything, everywhere, it's always communicating with you. Pay attention and then you will be guided. You are never alone. Even if you feel like you are alone, but then you are never alone. You are always guided, always protected, always loved. And I'm... Um, Sending the love and light wherever I am to you through this, whatever, because I'm here. I'm just a reminder to remind you, or there are also um, many ways your ancestors can communicate with you, other than your intuition, other than the Toro, other than um, the whispering, other than the ringing in the ears, other than the downloads. But then there are also signs outside of you, which you need to start paying attention to, because it's very important for you to tap into that energy. Learn or you're not alone. Learn over right now you might be struggling, but then that doesn't mean worry that's the end of the world. No, if you're struggling right now in the spiritual world somewhere out there, everything you're looking she and then when something is being messed up in the spiritual world, then everything you're looking she are in this physical world. Everything is working in your favor, you know. It's positive and negative. It's balance. We are balanced. We have the feminine and masculine image. It's all about balance, guys. Okay. Stop feeling down, stop feeling emotional, stop feeling sad. Just be yourself, you know, be yourself and try to not resonate with the negativity. Pay attention to the angel numbers. They will give you confidence. They will give you the messages that come from the spiritual realm, come from your ancestors, and then they will come to you. As much as people say, oh, yo, the angel numbers, don't want to make more to the internet, Google, one, two, three, one, two, three. Your ancestors are able to manipulate energy. Pay attention to this. Your ancestors are able to manipulate energy to work on their behalf. Because they know what there's someone out there who's going to go out there looking for what does 222 mean? What does 111 mean? And then they will find me explaining those things. You get what I'm saying? So, hey, no, no, be open minded. It's all about energy, vibration, and frequency. Our ancestors are able to communicate with us through everything. 
you know just because abanya go get you imagine if ba appear right in front of your eyes you will freak out la ga fa ka hlogong because bona motho mongwe le rawo motse bo le rogile 1 2 3 so ara ska test ba di mobarena and just try to look outside of ask the angel name you can see them everywhere you might find or you are holding a book and then you see 222 you might find or or a village bucket and then you see 222 you know the signs are always there. you might find or or tsore borotho and then you see 222 you might find or um ke nako the moment o tsheka nako ke 222 you might find or ga motho a o text la motho then the the numbers that appear uh, at the at the bottom of the text ke 222 because they are everywhere the signs are everywhere you just need to pay attention nothing happens because it's a coincidence everything happens because it has to happen everything happens because it's aligned with you the people that you meet they are aligned with you ashe banabara masedi